If you go right now to the, uh, the New York Post website, the lead story is all about Nancy Pelosi. Miranda Devine has written a great op-ed. Nancy Pelosi is finished. No one de deserves more blame for the Dems' $1 billion electoral collapse than her. Keep in mind, she's the one who stabbed uh, Joe Biden in the chest, and essentially he had to walk the plank. So she is the reason Kamala Harris was the nominee, and she is the reason, according to um, so many people, that they really stunk up the place well, this election. Pelosi told the New York Times that President Biden should have dropped out, dropped his re-election bid earlier, and that if he had, Democrats might have had the opportunity to run an open primary. And that led to this headline. Axios headline says, Scoop, House Dems sick of Pelosi. And one uh, senior House Democrat that was interviewed says, quote, she needs to take a seat. Yeah. Right. Uh, by the way, how respect disrespectful it is for the singing speaker. Uh, Keem Jeffries, he's the one who should be front and center. He He's the one who should be make, uh, give, giving explanations, excuses, and setting up a mission. And he said that a member of the Congressional Black Caucus said this. I don't think she, Pelosi, is being respectful of him, Jeffries. Now, Jeffries was asked that specifically on Sunday on Meet the Press. Listen. Very quickly, though, do you think she's undermining your leadership with her public pronouncements? No. OK, that was quick. One of the arguments that Nancy Pelosi made is that President Biden should have gotten out of the race sooner. Do you believe he should have dropped out sooner? I think that President Biden will go down in history as one of the most consequential presidents of all time. And I was thankful uh, for all of the work that we were able to do together. He did make the decision. It was a selfless decision uh, to pass the torch to Vice President Kamala Harris. I think she ran with it uh, and did the best job that she could under incredibly challenging circumstances in a little over 100 days. She came close, uh, but we fell short. Telling the truth, because Joe Biden said it would take God Almighty to pull him out of the race. And then he went on a two week rally uh, binge, as well as doing about four network interviews. If Biden wanted to finish this out and was maybe not told the truth or lying about his own polls. But Nancy Pelosi said when the when the guys didn't step up, meaning Obama right. and Clinton, I had to go out and do it. And then they finished the job. Maybe it started with George Clooney. But he's not being honest. I, I don't I know it's in, he's in a hard spot. And they get along. But that's not being, I think the one thing that she did not figure out, she's the most overrated politician of our generation. Remember, this is the woman who classlessly tore up the State of the Union address that the whole world watches as if that was, and she couldn't do it, so she had to do it right. one at a time. So that's when she lost it. And she was asked in her own daughter's documentary, you know, she said, I should have put more. Uh, National Guard troops there on January 6th. She doesn't even bring that up again. Well, ultimately, Joe Biden has not been in good shape for a year and a half or two years. Uh, he should have stepped aside for the country. And she knew. Uh, and now for the party. And she and other top Democrats saw him with their own two eyes and let this happen. And then eventually she stabbed him in the chest, as I said a moment ago. Well, but it was too late. And she wanted an open primary. I think she knew in her heart of hearts that Kamala Harris wasn't the right one for the job. Right. Uh, well, you would have to have... Uh, Joe would have had to back out long before to have an open primary. They wanted to have a jungle primary and have an old-fashioned convention. In six weeks. Where That's they put ridiculous. everyone's name in a hat. Yeah. And then they would have lost all the money that Joe Biden had. Uh, had. The only Correct. person that could keep that money was, was the vice president. and she Because her name was on the ticket. Would, and what I think has come out is that her goal was to make it an open primary. She had everything right until Joe Biden says, I'm endorsing the vice president, that stopped her plan in its tracks, and they were stuck with somebody with 32% yep. approval rating who can't retain a staff and doesn't understand policy exactly. and is too lazy to read it. Exactly. I think he said, fine, Nancy, you're pushing me out. George Clooney, you're pushing me out. Mm -hmm. Barack Obama, you're pushing me out. Well, then I get to choose the candidate, and it's going to be my vice president. Right. And that's why we, everyone believes that, um, that he voted for Trump, Joe Biden. Well, People you are never speculating know. that his oh, wife wore the red pantsuit the or, other day. And he wore a Trump hat. <gasps> or he left it blank. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.